Guess what mommy and daddy did? Good morning, you guys. Last night was probably the hardest night that we've had with the boys since they were like four months old. I think I got maybe an hour and a half of sleep, like the, like the entire night, an hour and a half. The second that um, one of them would wake up and fall asleep, the next would do that, and I haven't done that literally since they were like four or five, maybe six months old, but it's been a really, really long time, and I am running on like empty right now. Thankfully, Justin got more rest than I did because he's a much deeper sleeper, so he let me sleep in a little bit this morning after the kids woke up, but it's all because Ruben has three canines coming in. The top two have finally like come down, but the bottom one just started poking through, and then I'm pretty sure this one any second now is going to because he's been in so much pain. And then you guys know me. I always jump to like a worse conclusion, but he had this little low grade fever. Like I don't think it went much higher than like 100, maybe 101, uh, but I don't like that. So this morning I scheduled him an appointment at the doctor's office at four o'clock with our doctor just so that I will feel a little bit better and make sure that it's nothing besides just his little teeth he's coming in. But apparently there's other stuff going around and he was just sick with the stomach bug, which is going around our area. And then when I talked to her on the phone, she said something else is going around right now that is like a low grade fever. So she's like, yeah, we've been seeing that a lot. So I'm gonna take him in this afternoon just so they can maybe check his ears, make sure it's not an ear infection and just kind of take care of it from there but because of that I am not in the mood to make lunch today we just put the boys down for a nap and I looked in the fridge and I was like nope I'm so tired I'm gonna go pick us up something it's been a long time but I think I'm gonna get us I don't know if you can see it some Jersey Mike's it's like one of our favorite places and I'm starving because I haven't eaten like anything today fun fact if you didn't know Justin worked at Jersey Mike's when we were dating in high school and it is still one of our favorites also I'm pretty sure I just saw that fetch has Jersey Mike's on here for their rewards today Today. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan my receipt real quick with the Fetch app. Yes, I got so I got 125 points just for buying us lunch today from the Fetch app. And I just scanned all my email receipts from the last couple weeks and I was able to get 25 extra points just from a Target order that I placed. Okay, if you're wondering what Fetch is, I've talked about it a bunch on our channel because it's something I use all the time. But Fetch is a super easy to use free app that gets you points on literally anything you buy. So essentially, no matter where you shop or what you buy, when you're done, you just scan your receipt in the app and it converts that into points. And then you use those points to get gift cards, including Amazon and Visa. I typically go for the the Starbucks gift cards is because it gets me my free coffee during the week and then I don't feel guilty about buying it. So here's the thing, it is super fast. It takes me just a moment to scan a receipt once I'm done shopping in the store. You guys just watched me do it, but it's so easy. You literally just take a picture of the receipt and it automatically scans it into the app and it does all the hard work for you. It also does that with your e-receipts with just the touch of a button. I'll show you guys some of the reward options. There is so many different ones. I love Amazon, I love Visa like I said, and I really love my Starbucks. And the best part is you can earn points from literally anywhere. I just got points from going to Jersey Mike's, but I do it a lot from Target, any retailer, restaurant, anywhere you can scan any receipt in the app so thank you to fetch for sponsoring this video we've worked with them a million times because I have the app downloaded on my phone at all times ready to scan receipts and they always have an amazing deal so if you guys go down to my description box there's a link there to download the app go do it it's free like I said and when you sign up and scan your first receipt you get 3,000 points free it is a limited time offer so make sure you go check it out now download the app something super easy that would get you gift cards right away we're doing things like getting Jersey mics when your kids aren't feeling good all right home we go What's boom? No, my drop. You dropped it. <laughs> Justin just got Whoa. the cutest video of her putting her pink bobo to sleep. And there was another baby in the crib and she just like chucked it out of the crib and she was like, boom. <laughs> All 
Are you climbing on me? No, I'm not climbing. <laughs> oh, okay, it's been a couple days since we've actually filmed. And the last I was saying, we were gonna take Ruben to the doctor, which was two days ago. I did take him in and they checked him out and they said everything was fine besides obviously he wasn't feeling good. But they decided to do a little COVID test on him just because of the fever and you know, you just can't be too careful right now. So they did a COVID test and it was a 24 hour test. And so we were kind of all like, <laughs> on pins and needles for the whole day. Thank God the COVID test came back negative because oh my gosh, I can't imagine going through that right now when we just got through a stomach bug. But of course, as I expected, Asher got whatever Ruben has. It's just like a little cold, she said, or like a little virus, not the COVID, thank God. About like 24 hours after, so Ruben's better now, but now Asher's not feeling good. So hopefully this is the end of it. Tomorrow will be his last day because if he follows the same pattern as Ruben, then tomorrow will be his last day. Yeah, she's been acting normal and fine and goofy, so she's been good. The boys, it's good. the boys is something completely different. They share everything. <laughs> they share sickness because they share cups, they share rooms, they share cribs, they share blankets, they share toys. They put everything in passies. They share everything. So if one of them gets something, the other's just bound to get it. I personally think that that's the hardest part of having twins is the sickness. Like now that we've experienced it twice in a row, <laughs> like having to deal with sickness with two babies instead is so much more difficult, especially because they're not always on the exact same schedule. So they're usually like a couple hours apart. So you finally feel like you're getting through it and then boom, the next one gets knocked out. But I think we'll be on the up and up today if we follow the same schedule as Ruben. <laughs> My doctor said everything is going around right now. Like yeah. they're seeing so much sickness right now. And it's probably just because things are um, starting to open up again, especially in California. We've been in, you know, lockdown for a really long time, essentially. And masks are just now becoming um, not mandatory if you're vaccinated. So there's just like a lot of stuff going around. And we got the short end of the stick on that, getting sick. Well, not dude. us, thankfully, this time, but the yeah, boys getting seriously. sick no, within a week. Boys, dude, that's so unfair. I know. To get sick back to back like that man especially with how rough the first one was yeah and it's a completely different sickness which is just, the crazy part so weird but honestly they're doing they're doing better today so i'm just glad that they're on the up and up oh, oh i'm just so glad you're God. not sick you're so sweet but this one has seriously been such an angel the last couple of days so i gave her a little frozen apple juice popsicle to have before nap can i see it what is it it's, normal. it's like ariel so then she wanted to watch Ariel. And you're wearing an Ariel dress. So along the line with all like that first aid stuff we were just talking about, sickness and everything, I decided yesterday to put together a little first aid kit that we're gonna keep in the car. Well, we're not gonna keep it in the car because I don't want it to get overheated, but I got um, stuff that I'm gonna take in the car every time. And they're doing a deal at Target right now where when you buy like three first aid items, then you get the first aid kit for free. And then I put it in another little bag that I had. But I just filled this up with a bunch of meds and stuff that I thought would be so good to have on the go for situations like that happened for us this week that happened when we're not at home there's Pepto-Bismol there's Benadryl Tylenol and they're all chewable and then just normal first aid stuff um, and itch stuff gauze band-aids scissors tweezers all of that stuff because I just realized I don't really have any of this stuff like on hand on the go so I feel like this is gonna come in handy a lot and then I also got these on Amazon and I haven't tried them yet so I'll let you guys know what I think but I got them for this summer you put sun screen in this little thing and then you twist it shut pop off the cap and there's a little ball here that when the sunscreen goes on it kind of like rolls on and there's a sponge I thought this would be really good for the babies because trying to apply sunscreen to their face is such a pain so I feel like I'm gonna keep these in the car too speaking of sunscreen Justin and I haven't told you guys yet I've been keeping a little secret do you know what I'm talking about <laughs> come here I don't think Emma knows yet either. Guess what mommy and daddy did? Huh? We bought tickets. We're gonna go on an airplane. <gasps> yeah. We get to go on an airplane. And, and grandma too. Well, not grandma. <laughs> Mommy, go on a helicopter. Oh, it would be cool to go on a helicopter, but we're gonna go on an airplane this time. Oh yeah. A granny on an airplane. A granny on an airplane? That's because granny flew here. This is something we've been talking about doing 
since we started vlogging. Like one of our very first vlogs, we talked about this. Finally doing it. We just bought our tickets a week ago, two weeks ago through Costco. We are taking the whole family to Hawaii in just a couple months, Kauai specifically, which is where we got engaged, where we went on our big trip when we which first started YouTube. the best place in the world. I'm so excited, but we're not going until the very beginning of 2022 because it, the flight ticket, like the cost was like you, we couldn't pass Dude, it up. It's the, I don't know why it was so much cheaper. It's like the it's best the time of year to go though. Like January is like the best time of year know, to go. So Whales are all out there. The weather's super nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. You get to so get fun. puka dogs. And the best part. I mean, you part, can get puka dogs, whatever, but you get to get about. puka dogs. <laughs> the best part though, is that we get to go with Two of our friend, well, two of our friend groups. So Which we're we've so never done before. we've never gone on a trip we've with friends before. So our friends, there's two couples and all of their kids that are going. So total, there's going to be a group of what five, ten, fourteen of us total with all of the kids. So it's going to be kind of crazy, but. <laughs> You guys know you've been watching our videos for a while, then you know this but is something we've talked about doing, taking Emma after she was born, but haven't had the chance, obviously. And I feel like it's the perfect time because I won't be pregnant yet, probably. The boys are at a, the kind boys, of a sweet spot. Yep. She's at a sweet She's spot. She's super dude. easy to travel with now. So easy. And we got the boys' car seats, um, like seats on the plane, so we can just strap them in on the plane, which will make it a lot easier. Yeah. I'm just. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, God. Oh, you almost pulled me off the counter, girl. You would have had to catch this big old dad. Oh, man. We're going to Hawaii. To Hawaii. Hawaii. We're going to Hawaii. And guess what? Grace is going to come to <gasps> And Mary. And baby Panna. And baby Hannah. Oh my goodness, look at you. You look so handsome. Here, cheers. Okay, I am home and I finally got the boys a dresser for their bedroom. I've been looking for one. I found this on Marketplace on Facebook and it was like a vintage dresser that they redid. It's got this really cute little drawer up here. It's gonna be the perfect place to put all of their stuff. And I found it on Marketplace. Like it's seriously, it's so cute. Now I just have to convince Justin to help me carry this inside because it weighs like a million pounds. I don't know how this is even gonna work. I tried to carry it in from like two feet away and I almost died, but I really wanna put it in today because I finally got the anchors in the mail for it and I can finally like mount it on the wall and I need more storage. Like there is just not enough room for the boys in that room right now. So uh, we'll see. Can we just try this way? I know, but I'm just trying to say yes. Okay, ready? Yep. One, I'm two. ready, I'm already high. You good? Okay, hold on, don't go down your We did it. Now I'm making dinner. If you can guess what I'm making, guess. Sloppy Joes. I actually haven't had Sloppy Joes in a really long time, so we had most of these ingredients already. All I had to get was the ground beef and buns and we were good to go. I don't actually think Emma's ever had Sloppy Joes, but I'm certain she's going to love it. And while I do that, Justin is actually installing the anchors on the dresser in the bedroom, so it should be done by the time I'm done cooking. All right, I am done. I deconstructed the burgers for the boys. <laughs> Got them some peas. I just have to make Justin and I a little bit more peas and then we're good. This was really easy, by the way. I'll link the recipe down below. It's really good. Okay, so ignore the fact that there's stuff on the floor, but it looks so good right here. I love the style of it. I think it actually blends in really well. The only thing is that this lamp will be gone because we are putting in a ceiling fan just like we did in Emma's room, so that won't be as cluttered. And then this is stuff to donate and put in storage. Um, and then these cords and stuff, obviously, we're gonna think about putting an outlet behind here, like because we're having an electrician come out anyways to put the ceiling fan in. We're thinking of just having them put an outlet behind behind the dresser, that way we can put up like the sound machine there. They're not ever in here without us with them, so it hasn't been a problem yet, but I don't like it, so I want the cords hidden behind the dresser, if it's possible. And then I also wanna see if they can put an outlet like 
up high kind of hidden behind here so I can mount the camera but I'll talk to them and see what they think is best for that and because they did this room as an office when we moved in all the internet stuff is down here too which again we want to hide and move but they can't put it in a different room so we have to think of something for that but overall it's coming together it's turning into more of a big boy room we got rid of the rocker so now they have a dresser they have a lot more play space and then I'm thinking of putting something on this wall but I'm not quite sure yet I feel like they're growing up so fast though like I'm going through their clothes now they're starting to get bigger and this is the only pile that I'm gonna keep and then all of these I'm gonna donate and I've already donated like bags and bags worth the last couple of weeks there's just so much stuff and because we don't plan on obviously having twins again we're not keeping double of everything so there's so much stuff that we can give away which I'm so grateful for but with that I'm gonna end this so I can go get their milk ready for bedtime now that I'm finally done in here so thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you again soon I'm so excited excited so excited for our Hawaii trip I literally you guys just know all of you guys that have been watching for a long time I've talked about this for so long and it feels like a dream come true and I just oh I cannot wait thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk to you again in a day or two bye